Hello everyone, this is Sherry and welcome to my channel. And today is the National Scrapbook Day video hop and I am able to take part with some wonderful YouTubers who are uh, bringing some videos to you today, sharing some of our favorite things. And so what I am sharing today, I'm gonna to be going through some of my favorite things as I complete this process video for you. The first thing that I am showing you right now is my one of my favorite things, probably one of my most favorite things, and that is my kits. I do subscribe to a kit club. Right now I am subscribing to the Hip Kit Club. I have subscribed to other clubs in the past, and uh, right now I'm loving the Hip Kit Club, and I love subscribing to kits and I'm showing you a little process here of how I keep mine my monthly kits I print them out on a piece of paper showing what I've purchased and everything that was in that kit for the month because typically I'm not able to use all the product in that month before my next kit comes I keep them in these iris boxes containers and I have the tray that holds all my little embellishments and then I put the paper in top of that uh, iris container so that then I can keep track of my kits and everything that came in that kit. So that is my first favorite thing that I'm going to share with you is my kits. I love that they are um, full of the latest product. Everything is coordinated. And when I get ready to do a layout, I simply pull out the kit and I put it together. And so that is my first favorite thing that I'm going to be sharing with you. And I'm completing a layout today using my hip kit. And... I'm going to be doing a mixed media layout and what I'm starting with here is just some gesso and I am uh, putting it over the sheet of pattern paper um, because I'm going, to, I'm going to be doing some watercoloring and misting on that section and so I wanted to uh, go ahead and cover it with gesso to kind of mute out the colors in the background and also kind of prepare the paper for the watercoloring that I'm going to be doing on that. And I'm going to start a, I'm actually using these three photos of my grandson and I'm just kind of marking off a general idea of where I think those photos are going to go because I'm going to create a technique um, around the top and the bottom portion of those photos. And so what I'm going to do, I'm starting off one of my favorite techniques is just using uh, several different colors of are shades of mist and I'm just dabbing uh, the mist on and then dabbing it with a little bit of water kind of creating a watercolor effect and um, I've sped this up quite a bit because this was a long process the video uh, the uh, layout took quite a while for me to get completed in fact I started it one day and finished it the next um, started it one evening and then uh, just finished it so um, I've sped up a lot of it and I've tried to cut out parts that were very repetitious, but I did want to leave some of it so you could actually see the technique and see what I'm doing on this. So here you go. You can see I've uh, kind of edited some of that out and you can see here where I've gotten in the process. And I just did several, several layers of um, mist and I just sprinkle the mist on then I dab it with water and I use different colors different shades and I love the effect that it gives you can see the layer upon layer upon layer of ink and I really like that and so it does take a little bit of time it is kind of time consuming um, but it's part of the process and I really enjoy it so then what I wanted to do is I wanted to just add a little bit of gelato and I'm using the famous Udit and uh, Missy technique and using it on the packaging and I'm using some inks as well on the packaging and just dabbing that on and kind of just gives a whole nother layer and a different look. So uh, another layer of color. Okay, so then I came back in the next day and I was like, I needed to um, add a little bit more to the top because with the design of my layout, it's going to be, I'm using that vertical photo and I wanted to um, see if I could, you know, kind of raise that uh, mixed media up a little bit in the center. So um, I decided to come back in and add a little bit more and I'm going to add um, a few dabs of the ink there, just kind of the same technique. And just I'm just building some layers using watercolor and ink and uh, building that up in the center a little bit more. And I do I, I really love this technique. I, you know, I love the look that it gives. And um, I left the center kind of open because I'm going to be covering that mostly with my photos. And I'm going to be just shooting it with my to kind of dry it in between and then I'm adding just some straight just splatters um, and I wanted to use a little bit of that yellow and so I love that delusions ink now what I'm going to do is I wanted to, another layer of texture and I'm going to add some inking 
and stenciling over the top of that just to give it a whole nother layer. And I've pulled out some of my uh, Heidi Swap turquoise inks and I've got some uh, gray and a black ink there. And I love to use that with my stencils and just apply that with a sponge ink it and apply it with a sponge, which is what I'm doing. And it kind of just gives a really, um, you know, muted effect, but yet it's another layer and, uh, in just different patterns. And I'm going to use some, uh, dark, that's the gray for a little bit more contrast. And I like the contrast that those dark colors bring in and I'm just switching up stencils and just using different ones in different places just to give it another layer. And I've got my script stamp there that I'm stamping around. And you can see here I've really sped it up because, like I said, it's just a lot of it is repetition. And so I'm just building layer upon layer. And I'm using some yellow ink there. Okay, and so now what I wanted to do is um, my second thing that... Um, Actually, my second thing was the mixed media supplies. I didn't say that. I got distracted with my layout. Um, my favorite things is the mixed media supplies. I love the gesso, paints, mist, gelatos, texture paste, anything with mixed media. So that would be my second favorite thing uh, that I do love to use. My third th favorite thing are my cut files. And uh, you can see there that I was working on my cut files. I was spraying the star um, background. That's from the cut shop. I love cut files. I love using my silhouette. Um, there's so many things that you can do with them. You can cut those out in white and you can recolor them. You can adjust the sizes. So if something's huge, you can shrink it down. You can make it bigger. You can even make your own, which you're going to see me do in this layout, um, your own designs. And so I love cut files. That is my uh, third favorite thing that I have on this layout that I'm sharing with you today are my cut files. And I'm using it on this layout. So they're so versatile and I just love those. So, um, and right now I'm just backing that uh, background with a cardstock. I like to do that, especially when I do mixed media because the paper can warp a little bit. And I just like to have that added uh, layer there. And uh, so you see the star background that I've recolored using just some spray mist. And, and now I've got these photo frames and these are from the cut shop as well. And I cut those on my silhouette and I wanted to recolor them a little bit. Um, looking back, I could have left them in white now that I see the video, but I wanted to, to recolor them and kind of have that uh, tone on tone look. So I'm recoloring them using the Heidi Swap ink and kind of giving it that turquoise look. And so I'm just taking a sponge and just dabbing it on and just coloring it that way. And I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> get those applied to the photos. And what I'm going to do is I wanted to find um, some background paper that I wanted to use in the cutouts on those Polaroid frames. So the, the candid and photo op, I wanted to back it with paper so it would stand out a little bit more. And, um, oh, sorry, I'm not doing that right now. What I'm doing is the vellum. Um, I wanted to put a layer of vellum behind the photo. And just to kind of give it a little bit more interest. And I'm going to start, go ahead and tack that down. And there I am with my glue gun. I love using my glue gun. And I'm going to pop that photo up on some dimensional tape. Um, I wanted to raise it a little bit off of that background. And so I'm going to um, adhere it to the vellum. And then I'm going to pop it up um, behind the vellum. And just to kind of give it a little bit of uh, dimension there. And I am going to put a dab of hot glue on those foam squares just because... Uh, with the cut file and the mixed media, I wanted to make sure that it stayed down well. So not adhering straight to the paper. Um, I wanted to make sure that it did stay down. So I dabbed it with hot glue. And then here I am going ahead and finding some paper to back that uh, those Polaroid frames with. <clears throat> and I went ahead and <clears throat> went with this uh, light color uh, that I could put behind there. And then my next item that is my favorite thing, I've talked about it a million times, is the, a million times is the fine lighter app fine liner applicator bottle that you see me using there. And it is an empty bottle that you can purchase and you just fill with your favorite adhesive. I've used the uh, Scotch quick dry adhesive because I love that adhesive. I just cannot stand the tip that comes on it. So I ordered a couple of these off of Amazon and I will give you the link below. They're perfect. They're very fine line. So you can do fine uh, applications. It doesn't never clogs. It has like a long needle nose tip. And then the lid has a needle that goes inside the tip. So it never clogs and um, it's just 
fabulous. It's my favorite, favorite thing um, to use as far as a wet glue. So I'll put the link to that um, bottle for you. It's called Fine Line Applicator Bottle. And I think you can get them at Hobby Lobby now too, I've heard people say. But I just ordered mine from Amazon and I'll give you the link for that. <clears throat> and then what I wanted to do is Again, I wanted to raise those Polaroid pictures, uh, the frames, off the page a little bit. And I'm just using, I'm running low on glue dots. So I just cut the, cut the uh, kind of leftover piece apart. And I'm just, uh, hey, it still works, right? It's the same material. And um, I'm actually doubling that up because the photo in the center is already raised. So I wanted it to be a little bit higher. So I'm doubling the layers on that adhesive so that those would be raised up a little bit higher. And again, I'm just going to dab those with hot glue just to make sure that they stay down good. And I am going to be, um, <clears throat> what I've done is there, is, again, is a cut file. I, I created a title and I called, I the title is Busted. And I cut that on my silhouette and I did the background because I, I didn't want to use stickers. I wanted to have kind of more of a cut file. So I created that uh, on my silhouette and I'm going to be using that for a title. And right now I'm just going through my embellishments and I'm going to pull out a few things that I think I might use and I just kind of pull them off and put them to the side and some things that match color wise and um, just some things that I want to use. and. So I'm going through and just finding out, finding things in different colors. and. Uh, to begin my embellishments and I found these Studio Calico stars in different colors. I'm going to be using the yellow, blue, and green, which I absolutely love those. And it kind of goes with the star theme with the uh, cut file in the background. And so I'm taking out a few of those. I'm going to use a few of these, a couple of these tickets uh, from Dear Lizzie that came in our kit. That's what I love about the kits is everything is coordinated. I mean, you can see how well you can look in that tray and just see how everything is coordinated. And I love that. And you get the latest product and you don't have to shop for it yourself. So that's really nice. And I'm pulling out the few more pieces. I love that camera die cut. So I'm going to be using that. And I'm going to fuss a little bit here. Um, I honestly was playing with the embellishments and I was playing with the title. I love the title at the bottom. I really wanted to use the title at the bottom. And here I am using that fine line applicator bottle again. You can see how fine it is. I do love that. Anyway, back to the layout. I wanted to, I really liked it at the bottom, but um, the important part of this layout for me was the journaling. And when I put it at the bottom, there was just no other place. You're going to see me fiddle with it. There was just no other place for my journaling. And the important part of this layout for me was the journaling because it was such a funny story. And so I wanted to make sure that I had a place for the journaling. I'm going to be using some strip journaling, typing it out on my computer and uh, just cutting strips. And the story behind this photo was one night um, we had some family visiting and we were having dinner in the dining room and my son-in-law son and daughter were over and of course my grandson audio uh, was here and this is him in the photo and he was already in his jammies because it was getting late and we were sitting in the dining room having coffee after dinner and he came in and he was laughing and he reached for me and he was soaking wet like from his arms all the way down his arms and his pajamas. And we were thinking, what in the world has he gotten into? And so we just, I let him go. And then I just kind of sneaked off and was following him. Well, when I turned the corner in the kitchen, he had, I guess, found that he's just now the right height to reach the water dispenser in the door on the refrigerator. And so when I saw him do it, of course, I snapped pictures. But, and then I yelled, busted. And he turned around and he was just giddy with excitement. I mean, he laughed. He thought it was the funniest thing ever. And so I wanted to document that in my journaling because I thought it was so funny. We thought he'd gotten in the toilet. So we were really relieved to find out it was just the refrigerator. So um, I, that was important to me to be able to document that in my journaling. So even though I liked the title, better at the bottom I went ahead and I and I go ahead and move it to the top because I wanted to have a definite place for the journaling because that was the story behind the photos so 
in the end I do end up moving the title to the top and use the strip journaling at the bottom and and it works fine because like I said the important part of this layout for me was the journaling sometimes on my layouts I don't do a lot of journaling because uh, my layouts are primarily for the creative process I do project life but there are certain photos that I do layouts of that you know are important for me to get the story down and this was one of those so I opted to go for the journaling uh, first and move the title to the top and I think it worked out okay I was very pleased with it and so now I'm going to go ahead and just adhere my strips to the layout using the quick dry adhesive and yeah, my head's getting in the way sorry about that and I'm just adhering that down and um, it does it does hold very well I do like the quick dry adhesive uh, for those things and I'm you can see I've laid out a few embellishments uh, there that I'm going to be um, adhering as well and I'm just trying to place um, a few more last minute things I'm going to go ahead and put down the camera die cut and I'm going to raise that as well and I used a flare in the center of that I just thought it was was cute and it fit the layout so and so I'm just covering again my favorite things are my kits my mixed media supplies my cut files my fine line application bottle and I'm adhering some of those tickets down I really wanted to use that happy I kept trying to use it up in the upper top corner there and it just wasn't working um, but I do find a place for it here eventually and I'm going to go ahead and adhere down try to make that arrow work and it just didn't work so I'm going to go ahead and adhere down the um, stars and I have a couple hearts there from Studio Calico in the chipboard and love the colors I thought they went well with the layout so I'm going to go ahead and put those down There again fiddling with the happy I always want to find a place for it <laughs> and I have a few arrows there and just little little pieces that I had left over that I was trying to place down I'm gonna go ahead and decided to just adhere just commit to my title and get that glued down so I just glued that right to the center and that little um, moments uh, from Heidi Swap um, I thought went perfect there and I'm going to add a few little doodads to that and I do decide to go ahead and use the happy found a place for that happy I was so glad because I really wanted to use it on the layout because he was so happy he was just having so much fun and um, I'm glad I just grabbed the pictures first sorry that went off camera there a little bit I'm trying to tuck that little arrow under that heart and it was already adhered down so and I think that's pretty much wrapping it up um, my one more thing that I do love my favorite things as you know is my date stamps I love my date stamps I put date stamps on every single layout somewhere on the layout because that's the date I love to have everything dated so there's no question going when was that from so um, date stamps are another one of my favorite things that I'm sharing in this video so and I've got some close-up shots for you here and that's gonna pretty much wrap it up I hope you've enjoyed the uh, process here sharing my favorite things make sure I've got the links for the hop shown below make sure you stop by there are some amazing amazing designers that are on this hop and you want to make sure you check those out and you can see what everybody's favorite things are so I hope you've enjoyed it thanks for stopping by and give me a thumbs up please leave me a comment I love your feedback and thanks for watching you have a great day we'll see you again soon